78 elite men descended upon the small town of Tishu Varos, Hungary, which has hosted an ITU World Cup for 15 consecutive years. The field was packed to capacity, with many left on a waiting list eager to compete for Olympic qualifying points, which made for little room when the large group of men made their way around the swim boys. Not so, however, for those at the head of the field who would have a much less stressful first stage of the race. Leading the way was Igor Polyansky of Russia, Andrea Savisberg of Switzerland, and another Russian, Andrei Brukankov. But the gap back to the large group of men was only a matter of seconds, and so the lead group of seven athletes were eager to get onto their bikes as quickly as possible. The lead group of seven were rewarded by their efficient transition and worked hard together and quickly established a 30-second gap by the end of the first lap. Behind them, a very large chase pack included many of the pre-race favourites, including Ivan Rania, Leonardo Chacon and Danilo Sapionova, but they will lose time to the lead group on every lap. By the time the lead pack reached the second transition, the gap had increased to 1 minute and 10 seconds, and so the faster runners had their work cut out for them to claim a podium placing. Great Britain's Aaron Harris showed why he's yet another name to watch out for on Team GB as he pulled away on the first lap of the run. Behind the crowd was buzzing as Akosh Vanek was clearly in second place and looking very strong. Behind him, a battle for third place was brewing between Canada's Brent McMahon and Igor Polyansky who were running stride for stride. By the start of the third lap, the race had changed dramatically as McMahon pulled away from Polyansky and passed Vanek to move into second place and was closing in on Harris and the lead. Meanwhile, Vanek would move into third place as Polyansky fell off the pace. With just 1.2 kilometers left to go in the run, McMahon moved past Harris who was laboring and unable to keep up the torrid pace of the Canadian who continued to pull away as he neared the finish line. While the huge crowd welcomed him across the line, McMahon had time to enjoy the first World Cup victory of his career. Behind him, Aaron Harris of Great Britain would hold on for second place with a gutsy run. The crowd, though, would welcome home one of their own for the bronze medal as Akosh Vanek crossed the line to claim Hungary's third ever medal in a World Cup. I came into it so ready and I didn't peg myself in any place and my coach Lance Watson said, you're the fittest you've ever been, so go out there and do what you can. And I did everything I could and I got the win. Akosh Vanek becomes an instant celebrity with the bronze medal. Aaron Harris, meanwhile, would require medical treatment following his tremendous effort. So just two would claim their medals with Brent McMahon taking top honours with a very tactical run to claim his first World Cup gold medal.